Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures with David. On today's awesome adventure, we are back inside of Hollywood to definitely check out some amazing exhibits as well as one that's brand new to the Hollywood Museum because it is coming out very, very soon. It is the Ghostbusters. Oh, life long dream is about to be realized. I am super excited about this. If you're ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? It's time for an awesome, fun adventure. Let's go. emotions oh man this is so so awesome oh man just walking through these front doors I am so excited there's so much here guys oh my gosh this is gonna be awesome let's go inside let's go let's go let's go dude it is it feels so so amazing to be inside of this exhibit I got my shirt on thanks to my beautiful daughter she bought me this shirt she found the shirt for me <laughs> Oh man, I had to actually wear this as well too from the last time we were at Universal Hard Knife. We definitely got to definitely check out the maze and definitely check out the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Man, this movie has been such an inspiration to my entire life. Now, this movie did come out one, uh, one year prior to like, me being born, but this, I, had, I had these on VHS, man. These, this is so awesome. It actually is pretty cool. Definitely right there. That is Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero is known for the Ghostbusters OC. So back over in Midsummer Scream, Creep It Real, we got to see the Ghostbusters OC and it was awesome. We got to see Eddie Guerrero's own little proton pack right there. That is so, so amazing. And you know what, for me, I still love to this day Ghostbusters 2 because that is a sequel of sequels. Because if you kind of think about it too, is the city of New York actually blamed them for everything that had happened, blamed them for pretty much the chaos and pandemonium. So they had to basically get, you know, uh, dead end jobs. They had to actually sing and dance and actually had a uniform. And I actually still remember doing the dance when I was little of when they said, who are you gonna call? And then all the kids shout out the latest trend, He-Man. <laughs> oh man. I actually partially teared up just walking inside here because this is so, so amazing. There is so much to actually see at the exhibit, but we had to make this our first stop. Oh man, there is so much here guys, so, so much here and I got to experience it with my little one, woo! Now, are you the key master? Of course she's gonna say no guys, you don't say you are the key master if you're not the key master. <laughs> maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But it is so still to this day, so awesome that they created an old style Hearst into the Ghostbusters mobile, man. This is awesome. There is so much here and just so much detail as well too that they put in so much work on this. There's a lot. There's even Legos as well too. Legos of Ecto-1. Oh man, here's my wallet. I'm definitely gonna see about getting myself an Ecto-1 Lego and all of that merch looks so awesome. It's definitely, especially that inflatable uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow, Marshmallow Man. Oh my gosh. There is so much here. So much here. I just, I have to say that a million times because there's so much here. <laughs> Wow, so much history to Ghostbusters, you know, back in the day. Fun fact is they didn't actually know a comedy, sci-fi, and thriller, all three of those genres can make um, an amazing movie. And you know what? It's so true what they say whenever I did some research. Star Wars was not a fluke because look at Ghostbusters. It is a fandom, and I mean a fandom. Everybody, man. We were just here for a little bit and people are, our people are waving through in just to get themselves fun pictures with the Ghostbusters. Oh man, this is so, so amazing. And thank you so much to everybody that contributed to this ex uh, exhibit. And also we get to see a glimpse of Ghostbusters Afterlife. Oh my gosh. 
What is your favorite Ghostbusters movie? Is it one, two? Is it the new one that's barely coming out or the girl version? The girl version. Oh, they do have, you see all the memorabilia for all the girl versions? Oh, that's pretty cool. But are you prepared for Ghostbusters Afterlife? That is gonna be awesome. <laughs> now, if you definitely actually can tell, we are wearing our masks. When you're here at the museum, they want you to wear these masks because of the current conditions. So, hey, if you do come over here, make sure you guys get masked up. So I can be there forever <laughs> because I am a giant, giant Ghostbusters fan. But we got so much to see and so little time. So we're gonna go to the third floor now. So if you do wanna come to the exhibit, come to the second floor and you'll see it right over there. And you'll actually hear it as you're walking out. So definitely check it out, guys. So my daughter just kind of spoiled it for me, which is fine because now I get to my heart. Get to do this. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. Two things that are again, He's part of my life. It is Batman and Back to the Future. Third floor, guys, it looks epic. Let's go check it out. So, when are you ever gonna get Yvonne Craig, Burt Ward, Adam West, Linda Carter, and Christopher Reeves all together in one photo op? It's right over here. Oh man, this is every bit of my childhood superhero dreams right here. Oh, I love the Adam West version where he goes pow, blonk, kerplunk. <laughs> it's so awesome. As well as right over there, which is all of the cat women. And what I think, I honestly, in my opinion, I don't really like too much of the Halle Berry version of it, but every other one is awesome. Especially my, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and Julie Newmar. Yes. Oh man, this is actually the first time ever that they actually have over here at the Hollywood Museum the Batman 1966 exhibit. Oh my goodness, this is actually pretty cool. And they have the replica car here. Oh wow, this, oh man, every bit of my childhood, man. I love to this day Batman, whether it's the old one, the new one, any type of Batman. This was so awesome. I still love this movie to this day. I love when they actually go through the, the Batcave, they actually come through have the Bat phone. Oh. Oh wow, this is everything in my childhood. I absolutely love this. This is so, so amazing. And even have King Tut. <laughs> Real quick, I wanted to tell my daughter this. Did you know that there's actually a shark repellent that Batman actually has? <laughs> he was hanging from a, the bat, I think a bat copter. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this shark comes and grabs him. And he starts hating it and hitting it. And he goes, wait, I got my, I got my shark repellent. And then he went away. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, Back to the Future. Oh, my daughter's favorite movie ever. Part one, two, and three. That is right. Wow. Your favorite's three? No. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? Two. <laughs> oh my gosh. They have all of the newspaper clippings from, uh, from Hill Valley Telegraph. And they actually have some uh, of the replica uh, DeLoreans. They have the part three, they have the part one, they have the truck where he actually, I think, ran it through the, or crashed it. They have the Marty McFly hoverboards, different type of ho uh, hoverboards, but so, so many merch. That is right, there is so much merch here. Now I did a Back to the Future filming locations as well too, which I'll link it up down uh, on top right here. So definitely check it out. I checked out everything about Back to the Future. It was actually really, really amazing. And just being right here is so awesome. There is so much to this movie and so historical to this movie, to the film industry.
Oh, 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 oh. Gorgeous the basement. Mummies, monsters, and mayhem. Oh, 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 it's basement time. There she goes, guys. That's the last time you're gonna see her. Oh, 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 oh. Why are you sitting? Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, you really feel like you're in a movie set right here at the basement. This is actually pretty cool. And then, whoa, you get the dog from the from, from Sandlot. Oh, man, look at the size of that dog. Wow, that, that dog is huge, man. Oh, look at it from, from the Red Dragon in 2002. Nope, nope, keep walking. Oh, no, you're running. You're right. You're supposed to sit down? Nope. Nope, 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 not happening. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think she got scared, guys. That's it for today's awesome adventure over here at Hollywood, California because we definitely checked out the Ghostbusters exhibit. We, checked, we definitely checked out every bit of Hollywood Museum because, man, they had the Back to the Future, they had the Ghostbusters, that I Love Lucy, basically every bit of the memorabilia uh, replicas that they actually utilized in the movies. We had such an amazing time. Did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you guys for actually joining on with me and actually having some awesome fun. Now, if you guys like this video, give it an awesome movie reel thumbs up. If you guys like the content I bring to you guys, make sure you guys subscribe right now and put, uh, hit the post notifications and share my videos with your family and friends. Now, if you guys would love your awesome adventures merch or you guys would like to find me in my social medias, my Instagram and my TikTok, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that down below in the description. So definitely check them out. And now, we are onward to the next fun adventure. Let's go. Woo, let's go.